G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking about how to mentally take off a percentage, okay? And the reason for this is because quite often you'll go into a shop and they'll, or a store and they'll have something like, uh, you know, 25% off this amount or 20% from this amount or 50% off this amount. And it's really handy to be able to work out really quickly what's what this amount is with as least amount of hassle as possible I guess with the least amount of bother so this is uh, going to be aimed at looking at this so there's a couple of concepts I'm going to be tying in together with this okay and trying to uh, make the <laughs> make the calculations as simple as possible so let's have a look at this so say you went to a shop and something was I'll start out nice and easy something was twenty dollars and we wanted to take off um, what about we take off 20%? Now, look, you could work out 20% of 20 and we could take that off, but there's a, the thing is really before we go on, it's really important to get this idea what taking off 20% is, because $20 itself, this $20 is the original amount. This is the 100%, okay? 100%, the amount out of 100, this is 100%. We're taking off 20%. So this is the same as, 100% taking off 20%, working out 80% of the number. Okay, so straight away when you see this take away 80%, if you take this 20 off 100, you might realise that what you're actually working out is rather than, um, you know, and this is why the numbers are still simple, you're actually just working out 80% of this number here. Okay, this is, okay, so this is where we take 20% off. Okay, you good with that? Now, this is going to, so first off, that's a really big idea to get. That's a, that's a great idea. It's not too hard. That's the first step I recommend when we're doing these. The next step what I'll recommend is there's a bit of a trick for working out percentages mentally. We've explored these in other videos as well. And so this is as follows. So it's the idea of 100%, 50%, 20%, 80%. And five percent and being able to work these out really quickly and they're simple out they're very simple okay and I'll show you how um, so 10 hundred percent is the whole number so say of twenty dollars here a hundred percent is twenty fifty percent is half of a hundred okay so it's half of twenty which is ten we have ten percent ten percent is a hundred divided by ten so a tenth of that so all we're doing is removing this de this uh, zero here, okay, or moving this decimal place up one. So this becomes two, okay. Twenty divided by ten is two, and the same. This uh, five percent here is this fifty percent divided by ten, or we're going to move this decimal place. So this becomes one. So have you got this idea? That's pretty simple, right? So with eighty, we have a number of components here. We could actually make up eighty by going fifty, ten, 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 okay, and, and adding these together. It's the same, we're going to go 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, because this is the same as 80%. Did you get this idea? So, let's do it. So, to work out this, we're going, um, or, or even a simpler way you might actually do this if you're first starting to do this, you might work out 10%, which is 2, and then this is 80%, so this is going to be 8 lots of that. Okay, so that's probably even a simpler way. We have 80 divided by uh, sorry, 20 divided by 10, which is 2, times 8, which is 16, okay? So, this is our answer, $16. Now, this might have thrown you a little bit, so we're going to go through a few examples with this, all right? They're not too bad once you get a, once you get the hang of them. So, Let's give this another go. So say we had, say something like, again, we had uh, a nice, easy amount. Let's go $40 this time. And I want to take off, uh, this time we take off 30%. Okay, they will get a bit nastier, okay? So we're taking off 30%, but what you realize really, really quickly is taking off 30% is the same as working out how much? 70% because 100 take away 30 is 70 yeah so this is we just want to know what 70% of this number is okay so the easiest way of working at 70% is we could work out what 7 lots of this 10% is so 10% okay 100% of 40 is 40 and that divided by 10 is 4 and then 7 4's we get our answer of 28 
Okay, so twenty-eight dollars. You good with this? Okay, because again, a hundred percent is forty. Ten percent is four, and then seventy is seven lots of ten, so seven fours are twenty-eight. Okay, all right. Let's uh, work out another one of these. And this, by the way, you don't need to have tattooed on your arm or anything like this. You can mentally think these quite easily. And try to make them as simple as you can, I think, when you're doing them. Okay, um, obviously. <laughs> so what about we did say something like, and give this one a go before before I uh, waffle on and finish it. What about we do say something of $50? And we wish to take off uh, 25%. Okay, this is a bit harder this time, yeah? Okay, so what we might work out with this is we might realise that if we... First off, we, what we want to actually know is we want to know what 75% of 50 is, okay? So 75% of 50. And this can be made up a couple of ways, okay? We're going to need um, 7 of these 10s and 1 of these 5s. Okay, so... First off, really quickly, what you might think is 10% of this is 5, and half of that's going to be $2.50, okay? So that's going to be the $5, this is going to be a $2.50 bit, this is going to be our 5 bit. So 7 fives are 35, plus $2.50 is $37.50, okay? How did you go with that one? All right? Now, look, I think it's uh, that's probably the simplest way of doing these. And a lot of these, I know we can get into 10%, uh, uh, we can get into more 1% than that, but a lot of sales that we're talking more, it's it's these very, uh, you know, 30%, 25%, that sort of thing. Okay, I might give that number, that 25% another go. In fact, no, let's let's go a step further than this. Let's, let's get a different number and we'll go another one say what I want to do is I want to get um, this time seventy dollars no let's go seventy two dollars okay make it a little bit harder and I want to take off uh, this time seventy five percent now this is a more difficult one I think we'll all agree on this one right so first off this seventy five percent we're gonna see that again as we're just working at 25% of this amount. Okay, so this is two lots of this and one lot of this. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding $7.20, $7.20 and $3.60. Can you see that straight away? So $7.20 plus $7.20 is $14.40 plus $3.60 is $18.00. Now I just want to double check that one, okay? So let's let's write this one down. Um, so we have 10% and 10%, so this is $7.20. And this one is going to be $3.60. So we get two lots of these, which is $14.40. Plus this is $15. Plus $3 is $18. Now look, obviously the more complex the numbers, the more complex the calculation is going to be in your head. They're going to get harder. So then you might employ things like if they start to get really silly, maybe you would look at this and go, oh, okay, I'll call that 70, just to save myself mentally what's going on. And, and then you'll be able to work it out a little bit easier. So maybe you look at this and say it's 70, and then you can go, well, this is going to be the same as 7 and 7 and $3.50, and you'll get a fairly close answer. Okay. So anyway, hopefully you are good with those, and they're nice and simple. Okay, any comments, any questions, please let me know. Okay, see you then. Bye.